Okay, let's do it again! Emperor Joker, one of the most terrifying versions of Joker. If the regular Joker was not crazy enough, you guys are going to love this version of the Joker, which was featured in Superman Emperor Joker comics. This alternate version of the Joker has gained reality warping powers, allowing him to manipulate reality to his whims. Emperor Joker is more sadistic, cruel, and highly intelligent by nature. He is not hesitant to use his newfound abilities to torment and kill both heroes and villains villains of the DC Universe. Emperor Joker is one of the most dangerous and unpredictable villains in the DC Universe and his actions are pretty extreme and have devastating consequences. So in today's video we will be exploring every detail about this madman of a character and why his villainous version has been so important in DC 1. But before we go into our explanation we have a very small request. If you like our content please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you but for us it means a lot. So thank you, and let's begin. A crucial comic book story arc featuring Emperor Joker. It all starts with Superman being the man accused of the murder of Lex Luthor and thus being captive at Arkham Asylum. He tried to escape from the prison cell to flee from the charges, but what shocked us was that he had no memory of what he had done. As a matter of fact, he had no clue of Lex Luthor's identity. Then the readers were quickly introduced to Mr. Mixelpitalik, who is one of the classic villains of Superman. His other foe, named Bizarro, has also been introduced shortly after he makes an attempt to get Superman back into Arkham's custody. This battle gets intense, and Superman soon meets Lois Lane. In this version, Lois Lane is a businesswoman and owner of Lane Corp. She denies anything to do with Superman and refuses his help. Bizarro takes Superman back to Arkham, Poison Ivy is also a part of the villains, and Aquaman has the weirdest appearance of a fish head instead of a normal head. He also cannot stand water or go anywhere close to it. This reality is clearly messed up, and something does not add up. I mean, come on. Bizarro is not the brightest villain, yet he calls himself the JLA. This version portrayed Lois Lane as a selfish person at first who would prioritize herself over anything or anyone else. As the course of events continue, Superman is seen to be breaking out of Arkham Asylum again, and it hinted to the readers that everything in this reality could be nothing but a continuous, endless loop. He breaks free from the cell every day, and Bizarro captures him every day just to get sent back to the asylum over and over again. But ultimately, Superman Superman meets Hank Aaron when he is moved to the UFO, which works as a prison but a floating one. Hank is an inmate who also notices unusual events in this reality and understands that everything is not quite falling in place as it should be. Superman and Hank manage to make an escape and come across Mr. Mixelpitalik, who then proceeds to explain everything. In the meantime, Lois Lane also changes her mind as she feels bad for Superman. Hank and Superman then decide to travel to the moon in search of answers to why everything was out of sorts. As Lane, along with Superman and Steel, land on the moon, Superman is confronted by another JLA member who intends on a battle. His name is Ignition, and he threatens to pose harm to Lois. This infuriated Superman, and the incident triggered Superman's memory. With a lot of flashbacks reconfirming his affection for Lane, it did not take him long to realize that a chunk of his memories was missing. After the battle, Mr. Mixelpitalik then manages to restore all of Superman's lost memories. Let us quickly remind you that Mr. Mixelpitalik is an imp from the fifth dimension and holds one of the strongest reality wrapping abilities. He teases Superman by visiting this Earth every 90 days to mess with him and also pulls funky pranks to taunt his abilities. To send him back to his own reality, Superman has to trick him in a cartoonish way to get him to say his own name but backwards. So Superman tries just that, but nothing happens as it should have. Then, Mr. Mixelpitalik told the horrifying tale of a mishap. Apparently, he wanted to give Joker 1% of power as he was curious to see what the Joker's maniac brain would do. However, the Joker was able to trick Mr. M into revealing a secret name and ended up giving them 99.9% .9 of his reality wrapping abilities. So all the while, it is Joker who has been pulling the strings, making this reality all messed up as possible. Joker used 99.9% .9 of Mr. M's power to create his version of the universe. And in this version, Emperor Joker is capable of causing destruction to all of reality, wiping off the existence of everything. An interesting thing here to note
know is that Mr. Mixelpitalik was always capable of doing this, but he never thought of doing this as he would not have anyone to trick in that case. But Joker, on the other hand, is just crazy and homicidal. He does not have any moral grounds or rational thinking abilities and is just straight up cruel. The more time that Joker gets with his powers, the better control he gains over his reality, time, and space. Initially, Joker has declared himself as the king of the universe after he modified the fabric of reality. He even went to the extent of renaming the Riddler as Enigma and making him his royal court. Harley Quinn, of course, part of the royal court, was referred to as Babe in Waiting. Lex Luthor, also present as the court's jester, and yes, he was obviously forced into playing this part. To give you an idea of how crazy Joker has been in this reality, he wiped out all of the people of China. Yes, we mean to say that a billion people just suddenly did not exist. If you think he stopped here, you were wrong because what he did next will probably send chills down your spine. He ate their skulls with chopsticks from a Chinese bowl, so it clearly could not get any more messed up. He also modified some of the Justice League members. For instance, we noticed that Aquaman was afraid of water and had a fish head instead of a human head. The Flash had a raging desire to consume junk food, but he still had his speedy ability. Wonder Woman, on the other hand, was just a housewife, and Plastic Man turned out to be a credit card thief. Manhunter wanted to destroy the Earth, but he was only three feet tall. If this was not enough for you, he also took the lives of Dick Grayson and Tim Drake. Still not impressed? He captures Batman every day only to torture and kill him, but he also keeps bringing him back to life so that he can repeat his actions every day. However, these activities would seem like nothing compared to what he can actually do. Joker's capability and powers are beyond the Omega level. This means that he can actually alter reality, eliminate the existence of anyone, and bring them back to life. Not only this, but he can also do anything he wants to in all time and space, and nobody is strong enough to even think of battling him. So let's take a peek at the part when the dark side approached the most powerful characters of DC to go against this terrifying version of Joker. One of the strongest guardians of the universe, Gambit, Shazam, the Wizard, Zeus, along with Phantom Stranger, all came together to stand with the dark side. Stranger quickly reminded everyone that the Joker could control everyone's minds, including all sentience. It did not take dark side long to realize that even the minds of these powerful beings have been taken over by Emperor Joker. And then, you guessed it right, Darkseid also gets manipulated by the Joker's abilities. See, Joker is pretty insane in general, and with all of these abilities, he is bound to get crazier, but in the meantime, Superman managed to rescue Batman from the endless death loop. Lois Lane, in the meantime, approached Joker to ask if she could be the babe in waiting. Her betrayal resulted in Batman getting captive once again, while Joker put Superman in a television show solely for his entertainment purposes. In the show, everyone who gets too close to the Man of Steel gets destroyed. For example, Supergirl, Steel, and Superboy were eliminated once they got too close to him. And shortly after, when Superman was getting transported to a remote place in space, the Arm of God, Spectre, informed him about the Joker's true intentions. He let the Man of Steel know that the Joker wanted to cause an ultimate destruction of the universe, and only Superman is strong enough to put an end to Joker's menace. During this time, Spectre was also right on the edge of being taken over by the Joker. In the show, Superman devastatingly yells at Joker that he will never bow to Joker's lunacy and will continue to fight harder than ever to take him down. He also reminded Joker that this reality that he created is farthest from being real. The bravery of Superman inspired the Justice League members to get out of Joker's influence and get glimpses of their past heroic selves. But they are not the only ones who gets inspired. As a matter of fact, Lois Lane realizes that Superman is right and understands the moral grounds. She decides to switch sides again that makes the readers think, oh come on Lois again, I mean pick a side, am I right? But anyways, after Joker learned about the betrayal, he obviously tried to take her life. He even made himself a giant in size and got ready to fight. But before he could think any further, Superman flew through his body 
and got out of his forehead. Though this move would kill anyone who was a normal being, it did not pose serious harm to Emperor Joker. At this point, Superman realizes that the Joker is not destructible with just physical damage. Mr. Mixelpitalik appeared to remind Superman that he needed to figure out the rules the Joker was following in his reality. In every version, Joker plays by certain rules, and if one can defeat him by the rules, it is the end game for this walking, talking menace. Upon Mr. Mixelpitalik's advice to think harder, Superman realizes that Joker is not hesitant to eliminate anyone's existence but Batman's. He would be nothing if Batman did not exist, so Joker's existence solely depends on Batman. This realization by Superman puts Joker in a stage of self-doubt and concern. Being extremely furious, he tried to kill Batman but did not succeed. It ultimately caught him so off guard that he started to lose his powers and ultimately resulted in him getting back to his original form. Mr. Mixelpitalik, Superman, and the Spectre then work together to reform the universe, thus restoring the universal balance. However, Batman had suffered through tons of consecutive torture and repetitive death, which caused him utter trauma. Superman figured that Batman might suffer from the extreme struggle just to readjust to life, so he consumed all of Batman's traumatic memories and freed him of the mental damage. Eventually, Joker ended up being held in New York's slab metahuman prison, and the chaos-filled, petrifying story of Emperor Joker finally ended. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Batman the Brave and the Bold featured a version of Emperor Joker. Developed by James Tucker and Michael Jelinek, the cartoon series Batman the Brave and the Bold features an alternate version of Emperor Joker. Batmite, an imp from the fifth dimension, was seeking an ultimate battle against Batman, so he made the Joker flee from Arkham Asylum. Batman made Batmite swear that he would never use his abilities again, so this imp tried to transfer his powers to Batman. However, while trying to send his powers to the Caped Crusader, he actually accidentally passed them to the Joker, thus creating the all-insane Emperor Joker. Emperor Joker even created his Joker Might, who would vigorously attack Batmite. Joker's sinister play starts when he starts to alter reality. This version of Emperor Joker also makes similar attacks on Batman as the original comic book story arc. It follows as tormenting Batman in many ways and eventually killing him every day only to regenerate him again, which ultimately leads to his death. This continuous death loop goes on and on, and Batman tells Joker that he has no sanity left in him. The infuriated Joker even tries to drive Batman insane by attempting to enter his mind. His newfound powers are constantly used throughout this series, and it is not only to torment Batman, but even the citizens of Gotham City. He does not hesitate to turn the world into a twisted version of itself, but in fact takes pleasure in causing immense suffering and death to anyone just for fun. In this version, Joker's love of interest, Harley Quinn is mute, and while the main antagonist is gone for a while, Harley teams up with the powerless Batmite to fight against the Joker Mite. They managed to defeat him, but could not rescue Batman. Batman gathered all of his willpower to show Emperor Joker a world without Batman as he wished to eliminate the Caped Crusader's existence. Emperor Joker liked the world without Batman where the world is filled with crime, but he soon comes to the realization that without Batman, Joker would not exist. The idea the idea terrifies him to the point where he ends up surrendering all of his powers, just as in the original comic book story arc. Joker's own mind puts him in a place where he came to terms with the idea that without his arc nemesis, his existence would be nothing. The series highlights the unbreakable spirit of Batman and his determination to protect the citizens of Gotham, even in the face of overwhelming odds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the death of Batman! <laughs> what made Emperor Joker so dangerous? This version of Joker is the Emperor Joker, who holds near unlimited power and reality warping abilities, thus making him the most dangerous villain in the DC Universe. In this storyline, the Joker gains access to Mr. Mixopidilic's reality warping powers, allowing him to manipulate and alter reality as well as time. He uses these powers to turn the world into a twisted version of itself, one in which he is the ruler, and everyone else is subjected to his cruel whims and sadistic pranks. As he obtained his powers from Mr. Mixopidilic, he also gain some traits of his personality, which was his madness and love for cartoonish pranks and torment. 
One of the most disturbing aspects of Emperor Joker is his complete disregard for anyone's life. He took pleasure in causing immense suffering and death, going so far as to destroy entire cities and kill billions of people just for the sake of a sick joke. He revels in his newfound power, using it to torment his enemies and make them suffer in ways that are beyond imagination. This is, again, extremely dangerous, considering how insane the regular version of this character is. So, we can only imagine what he would do if Superman man did not come to the rescue. The Joker's hold on reality is so firm that it makes it nearly impossible for the heroes of the DC Universe to stop him. He had the ability to simply rewrite reality to his advantage in any battle, which made it next to impossible to defeat him. This means that even the strongest heroes are unable to stop him from causing destruction in the entire universe. Emperor Joker is so insane that he does not have mercy on anyone and will eliminate any life to fulfill his twisted desires. The effects of Emperor Joker's reign of terror extend far beyond just physical destruction and death. He has also created a world in which hope and happiness are non-existent, replacing them with a constant sense of fear, desperation, and despair. People live in a state of constant terror, never knowing when the Joker might decide to turn his attention on them. The world is in a constant state of flux, never knowing what horrors the Joker might inflict next. The character's portrayal is a force of destruction that causes immense suffering and death while bringing the world to its knees. His unpredictability and crazy nature make him a constant threat. However, Joker obtained 99.9% .9 of Mr. Mixelpidilic's power, which also meant that Joker lacked 0.01% of his power. So, Superman figured out that he could not free himself from his human-like desires and greed. So, the Man of Steel was able to get inside of his head, making him realize that even with all the power, he was nothing without Batman, and he would never be powerful enough to erase Batman's existence. This this realization broke Emperor Joker, and it is a powerful morale in and of itself. And with that, we come to the very end of our video today. The character has been massively popular and is one of the strongest antagonists in the DC Universe. This version of Joker is remembered for his dark and twisted take on the character, showcasing his immense power and psychotic actions. Emperor Joker has had a significant impact on the Batman mythos, providing a fresh take on the Joker's abilities and showcasing just how dangerous he can be when given vast power. This version has become a fan favorite and is remembered for one of the most memorable story arcs. And if you liked this video about how remarkable Emperor Joker is as a villain, make sure to smash that like button and tell us what impressed you the most. For us, wiping out a wide population and eating their skull out of a Chinese bowl with chopsticks had our jaws pretty much drop to the floor. So we hope you guys enjoyed this one and we can't wait to see you for the next one. Until then, have a good one and be safe. Thank you, everybody. One more. Hi! <laughs>